Today's video is going to be on the cult of environmental conservationalism. In a matter of moments, you're about to become hypnotized. Conservationalism is a thing the government spends a lot of money on and it's also taught in schools, it's in the science curriculum. Now the first thing that is deeply irrational about environmental conservation <clears throat> is that environments are not a static thing. Over time, environments change. The province I live in, Alberta, it used to be tropical, right? So what is it exactly that they're conserving? I think this concept is largely subjective, all right? So first of all, um, what we're trying to conserve seems to be from a subjective and arbitrary time period. Uh, we're not trying to conserve tropical Alberta. We're trying to conserve Alberta from the last, like maybe 200 years ago. We go 200 years ago, that's the ideal time for Alberta's ecosystem and we want to make it thrive like that. Um, and the second thing I think with environmental conservationalism that makes no sense is any sort of change that occurs naturally is seen as good, but any sort of change that occurs by man is seen as bad. So most of it comes down to undoing man-made changes, but natural changes can be horrible and catastrophic. Now by no means am I trying to defend reckless destruction of the environment. Some people just don't care about the environment for one reason or another. So when you, when you look at something like the comet that wiped out the dinosaurs, um, that was obviously not good for the environment. It killed like 80% of life forms on earth or something, right? And then, you know, I'm going to argue that it's quite likely that a lot of natural occurrences are bad. Maybe floods aren't good for the environment. Maybe fires aren't. In the city I live, there's a mountain lion right in the middle of the city and maybe I'm gonna try to get some footage of that lion for you guys if I can without getting myself killed. Um, and you'd think that the city's goal would be to remove the lion, right? That would be the obvious sensible thing to do. You don't have to kill it, you could tranquilize it and send it out or put up a trap with a cage or something, right? Whatever. But that's not the goal. The goal is to just keep it there. And they even have signs like learn to live with the cougar. When you look at it from the perspective of all sentient creatures, having this cougar is a very bad thing. It's bad for humans, it's bad for pets, and it's bad for the um, natural deer and, and rabbits and everything that live there. And it's probably even bad for the cougar because eventually the cougar is obviously going to attack a human and then get shot. So from every perspective, it, the, the conservationalist position makes no sense, except from the perspective of pr preserving the ecosystem. And there wasn't a cougar there before. So you're actually modifying the ecosystem, right? Again, to like this arbitrary time period. Presumably 200 years ago, cougars were in this area. And it, it's a really weird um, equation because if, if I said which matters more humans and animals or plants and rocks well to me there's a very clear answer here humans and animals um, humans and animals are sentient creatures and plants and rocks don't have any real worth beyond their ability to make humans and animals um, experience a better existence I, I really believe in this concept that um, people get the most from a natural experience from balance. Um, so I, I think the, the ideal natural environment is not one that is perfectly natural. How many people like to uh, go hiking without a trail? Everyone likes a trail. Nobody likes to go through you know, knee deep uh, thorns, right? Um, 
I think unnatural nature is better than natural nature. And I think natural nature is often better than like the city. The city can kind of be really crummy. <laughs> so I, I think there is some uh, natural biology that makes us enjoy nature to some extent as well. What do you think? You think environmental conservation is a cult or a scam or something? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or share. Um, and have a good day, I guess.